Hey everyone, I'm Blue and welcome to another Console Paladins video. Today I'll be sort of explaining some things that have been a bit of a pet peeve to myself. What I am and the difference between myself and others. Also, how I do things as well, a little bit into that. So at HRX, I was on the desk as an analyst for the console war. As awesome as this was, not a lot of people understood exactly what I was doing. I am an analyst, not a caster. Although I have the skills and the ability to be a caster and have done so in the past, I choose to be an analyst instead because I like breaking things down like the games, the plays, the players, and so on. A caster is the ones who do the play-by-play, -play, like Rain Day and Pretty Hair. Analysts are the ones you usually see during the pregame, halftime, and postgame of an NBA or an NFL game sitting at the desk breaking down what happened. For example, analysts are not going to be right all the time. They won't be wrong all the time either. Most of what we say is yes, our opinions, but... They are backed with stats, proven facts, the history of the subject, and much more. To put it simply, we are the weathermen of sports. It doesn't always rain when they tell you it will, but they use their best stats, history patterns, and tools provided to determine their best estimate of when it will rain. When we are right, we are seen as geniuses, and when we are wrong, we are told we are the dumbest people on the planet. I'm telling you this because I want you to know what it is like for me when I create any list or any other thing or any other content of some sort and the type of backlash I have to deal with. Creating the top free agents each day is difficult, but it's based on a variety of things that I look at. First off, I do not take anyone else's opinions into account considering this list is unbiased from myself and not persuaded by any other player or person. I look at their individual play as well not how well or bad their entire team did completely. If their team finished third in the PCL, then that was the team performance and not the player themselves. I then look at their stats, the champs they played, the roles they had to play, how well they played those champs, how well they were in those roles, what matchups they were faced with, and how they played versus set matchups. I then look at their play in other community tournaments and previous PCS brackets. If they haven't done any of these, then the step is skipped. I then decide who is a higher priority based on what the meta in the game is at the moment and what is more successful at a global rate. I then proceed to look at the current teams and rosters being formed or already together and looking for players and what they need. Someone asked me personally why I had Slaya from Xbox EU higher on the list than Sibs. Now first I need to state that I believe Sibs is the better player than Slaya. But here is the discussion with both sides of the story. And you tell me if anything I said makes sense to you. Even with PCS though, Slaya made top four once where Sibs made finals twice. And third or fourth pretty much every other time. I can understand not putting Sibs too high with some great names on there. But Slaya isn't close to his level, if that makes sense. You've got to be basing it on something we don't know about. Yes, this is true, but Slaya has improved, and individually Sibs was not the most impressive on his team, and limited his champ pool during the PCL. Free agency, like any other sport, you ask yourself who would you rather build a team around, and what position is more valuable or needed in today's meta slash league, which is flex. Sibs didn't flex this PCL, and in doing so, limit his priority on the market per se. That's why Slop is above World, regardless if World is a better player, which also is why Wonderful was number one. Skeppy was top free agent because of ability to flex between both Hitscan and Blasters at the level of play he portrays. Tank and DPS flex are more valuable right now than support and tank flex players, and both of those are more stable and easier to build rosters successfully around than flex three, which is support and DPS players. Tank and DPS flex run the scene right now, which is why Sir James Parker, Wonderful, Emit Payne, and Slop have such high success. Look at people like Harvey, who couldn't perform higher than them at land because he flexed tank and support for Flashpoint. He has been dropped because he wants to either support or DPS and not flex, but the roster doesn't need that. So they are looking to sign Slop, a tank and DPS flex, which is what good lad is as well, meaning they'd be stronger. Not just because of the better player per se, but because of the better roster role setup. I get that. I really do. But Slaya calling himself a flex doesn't actually mean he is. 
He only plays tanks and feeds on other things. He's a diamond player. It's just a bit rude to Sibs. I'm going off of what I have personally seen. Also, homie, you of all people should know how ranked has nothing to do with this, and I could care less about someone's rank. Besides, this list can change each day depending on rumor reports and team priorities. Slop and Yui are top because of their skill, yes, but also a ton of teams need those type of roles filled. I get that, and I agree with most of your list, to be honest. I just feel, I just, I feel like there's a reason you've put Sibs lower that you're not sharing. Slaya has never come close to being good enough to ever qualify for PCL. He's never played in any PCS other than Tank, and you're rating him higher than a PCL DPS that plays third. There's even players that place fourth below Sibs, which makes no sense. You know I love you, Blue. I'm one of those people who watches every one of your videos, podcasts, etc., but this one seems like someone has told you something off. Regardless, though, I don't really care. I just know your opinions mean a lot to a lot of people, and Sibs' chance can be lowered from this when he's a really strong player in reality. This will not hurt his chances, and he isn't technically a free agent. He is still with Viral and just exploring his options, which came straight from Viral, him, and the captain. The PCS and PCL are not the only things being considered, and Sibs was on a third-place team in his division, one which couldn't force a Game 3 in the sets that they lost. And a team. He didn't get third place by himself. This is a free agent list, not a team list. And no one has told me anything. I do my own analysis with zero persuasions from anyone else ever. Now this very same day, I had multiple other DMs from team captains and players asking if I knew any DPS players to recommend as they are looking for one. This means that today a high demand in DPS players is becoming a trend. Either teams filled their flex roles or decided to move in another direction, or whatever it may be, which means that the list would reflect this as well. If something is in high demand, when it becomes a, it, then it becomes a higher priority. For example, if LeBron James and Kevin Durant were both free agents who are more valuable. In my opinion, LeBron is the better overall, <clears throat> is a better player overall, and can flex to all roles better than KD can. However, if a team wanted someone younger to build around for the future or a better perimeter shooter, then KD would be a higher priority. If a team wanted someone who excelled at driving to the basket more often or maybe in passing and playmaking, then LeBron would be a higher priority. Free agency is not just about the overall skill of a player. Look at Skeppy. Again, he was purely a DPS player, but the ability to flex between hit scan and blaster at the highest level make him a higher priority for teams to go after. Well, I hope that helped you all understand the factors that go into how I create lists similar to this one and future content I create regarding players and teams in the console Paladins esports scene. My name is Blue, and be sure to subscribe for more videos on breakdowns for players, teams, and other console Paladins content. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at RealBlueTV with no E in blue.